Okay, if you are wondering what is in front of you, um, and you guessed a grassy field, nothing gets by you. That's right. That's right. It's a grassy field. It is the site of the former Madison Memorial High School. She gone. She gone now. And if I turn this way and look behind, that was towards Route 84, behind me is the new school built well behind where the old school was built, where Madison Memorial High School was built and uh, vacated in, well, at least as far as the school goes, in 1971, the year I graduated and many of you graduated. So that is the school. If, if you notice, the school is rather, rather plain. Not very attractive. I don't know if that's important. But uh, if it is, uh, I think they missed. Um, the other new school near the high school that they built, which might be a junior high, is also pretty plain pretty ugly. So now I'm walking away from that school towards Route 84 and as you can see and maybe you can read it on the door there it's the maintenance shop. I assume that's the school maintenance shop and uh, I don't remember that being there before. That's obviously not a new building. Um, I don't remember that being there when we went to school, but hell, there's a lot I don't remember. So I'm walking along the sidewalk. This would be on the west side of the school towards Route 84. And up ahead in the distance, you can see a sign out front, which would be the school sign. And uh, I have some stories about the school sign. I won't relay that now. I've documented it in the newsletter. So this is Stu Smith. It is July 27th, 2019. I am in Madison early today, preparing to go to the Max Talbert Celebration of Light Life Tribute. Uh, it's being held today at 2 p.m. Really looking forward to that. I hope maybe I can do some interviews there. The sign says Madison Local Schools South Elementary. Interesting. So that basically replaces what? Homer Nash Kimball, I would, I would say. It says, happy summer, read, write, and play every day. I could not agree more. So as you can see, we're coming up to Route 84. And what I'm going to do here is cross Route 84. We are crossing Route 84 and have not been hit by a car. There's the house immediately that would have been across from the high school. I don't know if that was there before. Now we're out in front of the high school on the opposite side of Route 84. And that would be the view basically from the north side of Route 84. All right, moving on. I don't know if you remember on the west side, on the west side, I may have said that that other side was the west side. The other side was the east side. Remember all the trees and everything that were growing along that area? Well, that is the, the view from Route 84. Um, seems much more dense than I remember. It seemed like there was a gully over there, and I think there is. So, gotta get out of the way here. There's a car wanting to turn. So now you can see we're coming up near Stratton Place. You may recall Stratton Place when we outgrew the North Madison, excuse me, the Madison Memorial 
high school. In our senior year, we had classes here. I believe I had government class here. I could be wrong. I know I had a class here. Stratton Place and the walk across Route 20 is the reason why we were able to get the school to agree to let girls wear blue jeans so their little legs did not get cold. And actually, I was one of the people who introduced that in student council. Me and BJ Bukar, Liz Bukar, she goes by Liz now. So that is Stratton Place. So now we were coming up on the village and as we come up to the village, on the right here is a Domino's Pizza. I know that wasn't there before. And we're coming up to the intersection of 534 and Route 84 Main Street. And this is you can see now there's a vaping shop and CBD oil shop which what no town is complete without those so now I'm going to attempt to cross the street I'm gonna wait for the walk sign I'm gonna follow the rules here so we're coming up here on Main Street and it's green oh and it says walk so I can walk across here So now we are approaching Main Avenue, what we would call the village. On the corner here, we have a haircut studio that I believe is out of business. And the store next to it is out of business. This store here, I would guess that this store was the old Isley's. That's my best guess. Like the third store down the road, it's called the Future Past. Um, sounds like a Moody Blues album. I um, have no idea what that is, but I can go in if I want to. Uh, I choose not to today. And then we've got uh, Main Street Retreat, online booking. Uh, jewelry, candles, and soaps. And here's something I actually do need. A haircut. But, hell, that's not going to happen. You know that. That's not going to happen. So, there's... And then, here is... Richard Fikes. Madison Combined Martial Arts, which I remember Rick. I don't know if he's open or not. I could pop in and say hello, I suppose. Um, let's see if he's even open. Uh, and I don't know, he, he does like combat skills. He might beat me up if I go in there. So I don't want to be beat up. Uh, but let's see if we can go in there. I don't see it saying closed, so let's see what we can find out. It is locked. So we walk down here further. We are headed again west. Oh, and this is Fike Studio, part of Fike Studio. So, but he, as you might, might imagine, it's, I don't know what time it is. 10.30 a.m. This is an open door coffee house. Coffee houses are very um, popular these days. I don't drink coffee. And sushi bars are popular also. It's kind of early in the morning for sushi. Grand River Lodge. Okay, not sure what that's all about. Young Sushi are still in the sushi area. And then an Edward Jones uh, office. I actually do some dealing with Edward Jones. And here we have a sign, Maggie's Donuts. 
and they're hiring. I could get a job here. That's what I need, another job. My wife will kill me. I wish I, I would like to have a donut too, but I can't talk with my mouth full. This is the old tavern, Rehabilitate, Restore, Revitalize. This is the old tavern, 2.4 miles east on, oh, that's the Unionville Tavern. Okay, that makes sense to me. Hello, good morning. Good morning. That makes sense to me. Yeah, this is, this is about the old Unionville Tavern. So, um, uh, they apparently have a little office here too, and I do know they still need a lot of work. I just drove by there. Um, this is the family dental practice. And, which sounds like a good time. And then Bracken Moss Farm Fine and Rare Fibers. Okay, I'm not quite, oh, it's for rent. Uh, so they're probably out of business. Not unusual. And now, wow, look at that. That is the east side of Duffy's. Look at all that, uh, all that work back there. And the famous Duffy's Tavern. And uh, wow, they look like they've done some work in there. I was in there a few years ago. Um, and I'll admit, I've had some wine and Kugel summer shandy uh, on rare occasion. Okay, maybe not so rare of occasion. But uh, Duffy's is for sale. So I wonder if I'd still have to call it Duffy's or if I could call it Stew's Tavern. Uh, I don't know. Free jukebox today. Always an incentive. Village Print Shop, Copy and Center. Now right down in this area somewhere should have been, there was the old Ben Franklin store. Now I don't know where that was.